No. I will not let your serpent tongue force my hand like last time. No, not this time. Forced your hand? Come now, I never forced your hand. It was yours that paved your road, that, pa that laid the stones of your path. I simply offered guidance in your darkest of times. <coughs> guidance? Is that what you call it? You would have me sashaying into hell, singing kumbaya all the way. Tell me truly, when have my words led you wrong? When have they been anything more than what you know to be true? Buried deep within your heart of hearts, my words resonated, and your soul listened to me. Yet still you stay stubborn, refusing to acknowledge the simple truths before me. Let me help you, so that now, as we stand in the crossroads, we may outwit Hecate and forge upon the safer path. You claim to have never led me wrong, but when have you led me right? If I came upon a beggar, you would have me take what little he has, just so I could have a little more. Your greed is insatiable. Ah. But am I not wrong? The beggar would fade out soon enough. Take what they have now, and it will not waste away to the flows of time. It is not my greed, but rather the greed you hide away from the rest of the world, denying you could ever want more than what you have. I simply speak the thoughts you claim not to have. I give life to your shame, but it is okay. Everyone has such desires. Only the cowardly are too afraid to admit it. You dare call me a coward? The lows you would have me sink to would make politicians cringe. You would have me seek whatever I wanted just to sate some insatiable, perverted, animalistic desire. Is it wrong to want something? To covet that which another has? To lust after a forbidden joy decried by society? If you have the strength, the cunning, to take something, why should you not? With my help, anything you may wish for, you can attain. There's no shame in desiring the pleasures of flesh. You are only human, after all. I am not some dog that goes humping whatever has legs. I have never claimed you to be. But too often, my words are ignored. Too many times have you passed up an opportunity that could have brought you happiness and pleasure. <laughs> and for how long would that happiness last? I see you are still stuck to your zealous beliefs. And I will concede defeat to your idiocy. Idiocy? <laughs> I swear, if I had one chance, to rip that silver tongue from your throat, I would take it with not a moment's hesitation. Would you truly, or would your cowardice overcome you, and you would stay your hand from all conflict, preferring to settle matters peacefully? We know you would be spat upon rather than given to your own justified wrath. Seize those who have wronged you by the throat, and ensure they never wrong you again. No, no, damn it, I will not succumb to such lows. I am not some barbaric thug who goes around determined that the entire world has wronged them. Oh, please, are you so determined to be blind that you would jam a log into your own eye? Too many times... For even me to count, you have been wronged. Yet you stood there dumbly, uttering not a word in your defense. Your aversion to your own hatred and anger has crippled what little fighting spirit you once had. You have become a coward, too lazy to do what must be done. You would not even arise from your own bed if your overseers did not punish you for your absence. If did not cause you pain, you would starve your own body because making food is hard. 
You are a sloth. The hell are you talking about? I am anything but a sloth. I have to work for my position. I earned my spot and my respect. My boss isn't some cruel taskmaster. I respect him as well. Besides, even if I didn't have to work, I would still work because I hate doing nothing. You claim to hate doing nothing, but what you do when beggars grab at your coat and cry for help? What do you do when the poor and the hungry weep and moan for a morsel of food? You do nothing. Nothing at all. You turn your collar, casting your eyes to anywhere but their pitiful forms. Your gluttony has consumed you. Your own selfish desires have turned you against your own moral code, shredding it to pieces, rending it sunder like Sodom and Gomorrah. The self-righteousness you have adopted as your defense is a greater sin than any I could convince you to commit. You justify your gluttony in your head with thoughts of, oh, they could get a job if they wanted. They just don't want to work hard. Or they aren't actually homeless. This is just an easy way to pay rent, piggybacking off us hard workers. What would you have me do? Give him everything I have and leave myself worse off than he? I would have you acknowledge your own hypocrisy and cease decrying me as the villain. Only once have my actions truly brought a curse upon another, and humanity barely existed then. Since I have simply been appealing to your own vices, exposing the hypocrisy of the self-righteous, you hold up that flimsy sheet of one-ply toilet paper, call it a moral code, and present it in front of yourselves as a shield. The second it inconveniences you, you tear it apart pretending it never existed. So take it, coward. Take it, and acknowledge your own weakness and hypocrisy. Take it, and feel free.